All right, good day, fellow Raiders. So, um, doing some PvP this morning. Uh, this is a tough first battle here. Hopefully I bond his cast and then I'll win. If not, I will lose to Overkill. He is one of the three nemesises that I have a very low win rate against. So... And since he is running, I am going to put my cast into the action in order to counter his cast, because then it's a battle of whose cast is better, and I think mine is. Um, so we'll go ahead and go back over to switch my team here. I was on a 30-something win streak until he came along. <laughs> oh, man. You gotta love it. Whoops. There we go. Okay. What do you want from me? I want All right. And here we go. Sound like Peter Pan. Here we go. Hopefully he comes back on and we can evaluate whether or not my cast is better than his cast. be so cool if these cameras in the phone had like little pivoting members so they could actually capture my face and I wasn't holding my phone at a weird angle. Like I'm holding my phone at a weird angle in order to get my face into the action. Maybe you don't want to see my face. Maybe you're like, fuck that face. Get your face out of my face. <laughs> Come on, Overkill. I don't know, I may have caught him when he was at the end of his climb. So, we will see. Do our uh, conquest run here. Be attacking Velk for the first time with my new team. Um, hopefully we do well. Barrow is banned. Where are you at, Overkill? Kind of don't want him to come back on because he's still really tough even when I have casts. But I have improved my casts since the last time I faced him. So. Okay, CC, you get stronger. You get stronger and then come back. Oh, I get two insta wipes in a row. Yay! <laughs> I'm getting less insta wipes. I know if you watch my PvP videos from like a month ago when uh, people weren't running the hard counters. Um. Like every battle was an insta wipe. Insta wipe, insta wipe, insta wipe. But not so much now, not so much now. There's still some fun ones though. It's not as fun when you insta wipe a computer. It's more fun when you insta wipe a human, <laughs> which does happen. It's just not as often as I'd like, um, but it does happen, so. <laughs> Ugh. But, you know, I appreciate a lot of the recommendations that I get from you all in the videos. The thing is, is that my battles don't last very long. So keep that in mind when you're giving me advice, is that this comp isn't a comp. Oh, Overkill's back, but it doesn't look like he's online. 
interesting. So I'll probably get him in the next battle. Or he may even interrupt his own bot with himself. So keep that in mind as well. I don't know how long y'all's average uh, League of Victory battles last, but mine only probably average five seconds, I would say, overall. So there's just a lot of heroes that you will never realize their full potential in League of Victory. Now, listen, uh, I'll take recommendations for League of Honor all day because I struggle like big time over there um but as far as league of victory is concerned the battles are just really really short so it's all about just getting as much possible dps down the lane as i can possibly get in that initial s1 swipe um in fact it's so fast that uh lav can't even soul link with dk before he swipes his s1 so, well, it doesn't look like Overkill is coming back on. I'm going to do one recharge and see if maybe he shows back up. Um, I was hoping he would actually show back up because I really wanted to see if Cass would uh, outcast him. Hopefully this is overkill. I kind of, like I said, don't want to... Ah, oh, it's Queen. Okay. What's up, Queen, if you're watching this? Um, I don't have problems with Queen. So, but I would have really liked to have faced overkill again. Queen will probably drop off, so I won't face Queen again. They'll she'll wait until uh, she sees that my score stops moving for a few minutes. Probably that is one sad thing is that I end up making a lot of people log off, and Overkill may have even logged off because he knows that I just switch teams to beat him. So. That is unfortunately the one drawback to having a really OP team is that most players end up logging off of uh, League of Victory when they see that I'm running. So I'm forced to climb off of bots. But there are a few that will face me and refine themselves, cut their teeth against one of the best. And listen, I did the same thing. I did, exact, I did the exact same thing. I can't even tell you how many rubies I spent cutting my teeth against Clive, figuring out how to beat him, Ra Ra D, Koala, Tristarch, Overkill, all of them. I don't drop off um, when, when those guys are on because I want to figure out how to beat them. That's just the reality of it. So I've told you all how to beat me. Um, so you have a one-up on that front. But uh, I still have to figure out how to beat several people consistently. I don't expect to beat them every time, but it's, it would be nice to be able to beat them, you know, at a higher rate than just an RNG bond. So I don't think I'm going to face any more human opponents in this push. Um, they probably see my score. That's the other thing with being on the leaderboard right there in the front for all to see is that they can just ref, you know, refresh and see that my score keeps going up. And then they're like, okay, Iceman Alpha is still running. So we'll wait till that score stops moving for a moment. And then we'll uh, log on and push after he's off. So... <laughs> 
Now I will say I do that with koala. I actually purposefully drop off now because I can beat koala every time almost. And the reality is if I beat koala, then something very interesting happens. <laughs> to no surprise, but it, it, it does happen. And that's that he just does a bunch of recharges to get all of the points back that he lost against me. So, and then of course Clive takes the bait and then he starts recharging. And then the next thing you know, you got Clive and Koala in a recharge battle and they've got a thousand more points than I had at number three. And suddenly I have to spend a bunch of freaking rubies in order to get into the top spot at the end of the week, which really blows. So now I am purposefully not trying to beat them uh, if I see that they are on um, and I just drop off and let them, you know, stay lower. So, because what ends up happening is I beat Koala and then I surge ahead of him because I'm getting like 80 points whenever I beat him. And then all of a sudden I'm in the number two or number one spot. And uh, then he feels like he needs to um, get back up into the number one spot. So then he just does a bunch of recharges. So, and he does a ton more to compensate. It's crazy. He'll try to like get four to 500 points more than me to put a space between us. So. I think that was my last battle. Oh, okay, I got one more. Maybe she thought that I had logged off. I'm not sure. I think this is my last one. But anyway, um, I would love advice on League of Honor. Who your favorite bands are. Um, and uh, maybe you have some gear recommendations as well for the landscape over there maybe league of victory gears aren't the best over in league of honor i'm not really sure um listen as long as i get masters 5 tomorrow i'm happy i just want that cc costume that's it but next month i've got an uphill battle if i want to get both of the costumes lav and loman man going to challenger whew, that's going to be Brutal. Man, I thought I did, okay. Oh, I had a few interrupts, that's what it was. There was, a, I think there was two on this recharge. This has gotta be the last one. Hopefully there'll be an interrupt by overkill. I doubt it. Okay, here we go. It's probably clean though, is my guess. Yeah. So, Drats. Really wanted to face frickin' Overkill again. Arr. All right, there we go. So that's it, folks. Um, I'm gonna just show you my gears again, because uh, one of y'all had asked me um, to show you my current gears, because I think the last time I showed my gears was probably about two weeks ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you my gears. And uh, here they are. So. DK is penetration on his weapon, okay? And those are perks right there. The reason why I'm bringing Pen is because I don't get the 500 from Fallen Prey until she's fired off a skill. And his S1 fires off before she can fire a skill. So I need Pen on that initial big hit. Um, before I was running them just purely on attack, but there are less and less 
heavy defense users in League of Victory and Honor, um, and hit points seems to be king. So penetration's not as fully realized, but some of the harder opponents do run death still, so I bring penetration for that purpose. Um, and this just ensures, you know, I'm actually over-penetrating quite a bit because there's not really a whole lot of users that run high pen. I'm one of the few um, that will run high penetration with uh, Glenwis. This is her League of Honor, but I will bring her into League of Victory with 400,000 defense. Um, and uh, that that can be interesting at times. But there's not a whole lot of users that are running big, big def. Um, but there are a few of the ones that I face off against Koala. He runs a PDF ring on, um, on his Fluss. So that's kind of the purpose of him having the penetration in case uh, Koala does show up. And then I'll just drop off after I beat him. But um, you don't necessarily have to have this much penetration on him. I'm not suggesting that you do. Um, but I, I'm, I'm running it for the time being. Um, but I can sometimes just switch out his room page to attack if, uh, you know, I'm not really facing anybody with a lot of defense. So that's DK. Juno is all about mana recovery per second and on attack um, and attack speed. Okay? So she has some DPS capabilities as well. Um, but that is my Juno right there. And... I have her on attack just to make her heal stronger. This is her perks. This one right here. Um, I do it mainly for the hell mode, which is the increasing the cooldown of hit enemies active skills by two seconds. Okay, so that's Juno. Um, and this is Fallen Prey. Okay. And as you can see, she's got some DPS potential as well got her on a lot of attack for strong heals strong shields these are her perks okay and then lastly pansy my secondary nuke a lot of mp recovery per second i just want to be able to get that s3 off quick good amount of attack speed and uh, there you have it, okay? So it's just all about getting that S3 off as quick as humanly possible. So that's my current team. Um, this is Cass as well, and I'm, I'll show you her because I swap between Cass and Bands a lot. So she's all about debuff ACC. Um, right now I have her on a Radiance. But most of the time, I put her on Judgment Light Bracers right here. Where are they at? What the F? Come on. Here they are. And if you're wondering why I mentioned this in the other video I did yesterday, it's because I want accuracy with her silence against anyone that may have dodge. So that's why I bring the Judgment of Light Bracelet. Okay? But high attack speed. High MP recovery on attack, uh, MP recovery per second, debuff ACC, um, that's the build, okay? A little bit of defense, give her some survivability, those are the perks, okay? So hopefully you all enjoyed that, learn something, implement it yourself, and have great results. We will talk to you all later. Iceman Alpha out.